Hi, welcome to the U Drive U Network. My name is Kenny Long, and on this episode, we are going to be talking about setting up and using QuickBooks Online for your trucking or brokerage business. Now, whether you are an owner-operator, leased to a carrier, you are a carrier with an MC number, or you are a broker, QuickBooks Online is the most well-known, recognized software for all of your accounting and bookkeeping needs, and it can be used for all aspects of your business. So for that reason, it is by far the most highly recommended program to use. Now, find the link in the description or click the link in the video, and let's get started and set up your first QuickBooks Online subscription. Once you click the link, you'll be directed to this page where you have the option of these four choices. If you are an owner-operator leased to a carrier, the self-employed version will work. However, it's not easily customizable. There are a lot of little workarounds that you're going to need to make it work for your trucking business. And if you grow later, it's hard to transfer your information to a full online version. Therefore, I highly recommend that you start at Simple Start, which is a full featured version of QuickBooks Online. If you're a carrier, you really have to start at this level. But if you're a broker, you need to start at the essentials level because the feature to manage bills is important as you hire carriers and you have to manage those payables. So once you're ready to start, go ahead and click the Buy It Now button and you'll be directed to this page. Once you get to this page, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just enter your email address and phone number to create it an Intuit account and click one more step and it will take you to the page to enter your credit card information. Once you create your account, it will bring you to this screen. Tell us about your business. Simple, follow the instructions, enter the name of your business, sample trucking company, and what does your business do? And just choose that from the drop-down menu truck driving and freight. Go ahead and select next. Step number two is what would you like to do in QuickBooks? So send and track invoices is important. Everybody will need that. Organize your expenses. That's really what you're using QuickBooks for. Manage inventory is not important for most trucking businesses. Track your retail sales, also not important. Track your bills. Again, if you are a broker, this will be important. You won't have sales tax either. Pay your employees. If you have employees working for you, you, you will need to select that. And most of us are not tracking hours. So we'll go ahead and also select track bills for this example. What is the role at your business? You will select owner. Do you have an accountant or bookkeeper right now? I would recommend that you find a CPA to file your taxes at the end of the year, but you do your own bookkeeping. So select no, I do it all myself, and then select all set. And that's it. You're now set up and it will bring you to this page. It may give you some help windows and you can follow through each of those. It'll show you how to use some of the basic features, but for the most part, you're ready to go. Once you're on your dashboard, you need to do some minor setup. So go into the top right to the little gear icon, your company, account and settings, that will open this page. From here, you need to edit by clicking the little pencil icon, company name shown on sales form and purchase orders, enter your trucking company name, or select same as company name. You're gonna enter your employer identification number and save it. Next, you go to contact info, enter your company email address, Customer facing email, select same as company email. That just means that it will show up on your invoices and any documents that you send to your customers, your company phone number, and if you have a website, again, save that. And then finally, your address information, your physical address, co customer facing address. This again will show up on your invoices and so forth. If it's different, go ahead and change that and enter that separately. And legal address is your physical address or your mailing address and so forth, your legal address for filing taxes. Go ahead and save that. And from there, you're all set up. Go ahead and X out of this screen, brings you back to your dashboard. If you would like to, you can also input a logo. Just select the logo icon and click on the plus sign and you can import an image for your logo. We'll exit out of this, back to the dashboard, and that's it, you're all set. From here, 
you can start entering your invoices and your expenses, and we'll talk about that on a future video. Now that you have your QuickBooks Online subscription set up and ready to go, you can start tracking your income, your expenses, and everything in between. It is going to make your life so much easier. Stay tuned for some upcoming videos where I will show you how to create invoices, how to create invoices for a factoring company, how to receive money against your invoices, and how to reconcile your expenses. So until then, remember to dream big, aim high, strategize your plan, earn it because you don't deserve anything until you earn it because only you drive you. Stay tuned.